The best way to perform this work is to do it while the transmission is out of the car during a clutch change. We're going to show you how to perform the work with the transmission out of the car. The first step is to remove the half shafts from the transmission. Begin by removing the center bolt that fastens the half shaft to the transmission. To pull out the half shaft, I used a slide hammer combined with an old CV joint as shown. Place the end of the slide hammer shaft against the half shaft flange and then fasten it down with two CV bolts. Tap the hammer along the shaft and the shaft should slide out of the transmission. Another method you can use involves placing two bolts into the half shaft flange and then using them to wedge the half shaft out of the transmission in the insert photo. This is the method documented in the Porsche factory manual. Here's a photo of the half shaft after it's been pulled out of the transmission. Although it's more difficult in tight space, you can remove the half shaft while the transmission is still in the car. For clarity of photos, these tasks were performed once again with the transmission out on a bench. After you have the half shafts removed, you can replace the differential shaft seals. There is one on each side of the transmission, and these seals and drive shaft flanges to the transmission case. If they are old and leaking, then you will see the transmission fluid leaking around your axles. Pull out the old seal and gently tap new ones in. With the half shafts removed, you can then pull off the differential cover. Use a torque socket tool to remove the screws on the outside of the cover. Insert photo. Removing the cover will expose the differential inside the transmission. Be sure that you have emptied all of the transmission fluid out of the unit before you remove the cover, otherwise you're going to have a big mess on your hands. Be prepared for some residual fluid to leak out when you remove the cover. The six-speed transmission has a large O-ring on the differential cover that I recommend replacing when you reseal it. With the cover removed, you should be able to simply pull out the differential. This is what an open diff looks like. It has planetary gears that distribute and provide equal torque to each wheel. This type of differential allows for both wheels to rotate and spin at different rates of speed, such as when the car is going around a corner or turn. Here is a view inside the transmission case. The curved gear on the right, yellow arrow, is attached to the pinion shaft and mates with the ring gear that is attached to the differential. There is a magnet in the case that attracts debris and metallic parts that have worn in the transmission. Take a paper towel and thoroughly clean this magnet, removing any grit and grime attached to it. If you are replacing the differential carrier bearings, then use a bearing puller to remove the old ones off of the transmission. If they are difficult to pull off, then you might try lightly heating the bearing with a propane torch to loosen it up. The new bearings need to be pressed on in a similar manner. If you heat them in an oven or on a hot plate beforehand, it can make their installation much easier. Obviously, don't pick them up with your bare hands as shown in this photo if they are hot. The open differential is shown here with new bearing carriers installed. Don't forget the spacer and any shims you have made taken off when you disassembled the unit. Having a new differential, you will need to obtain new shims that are matched to your transmission. Shown here is a limited slip differential from guard transmissions. GT is one of the leading providers of LDS differentials to the Porsche market, having earned their stripes designing race transmission components for cars that competed in the GT class of the American Le Mans series. In addition, GT is an OEM supplier to Porsche AG, with components used in the factory race cars on a regular basis. The unit I chose here is a street track version with a 60-40 bias, which is ideal for a Boxster with stiffer suspension and a higher powered engine. Here is the GT LSD installed onto the ring gear and fitted with new bearings. As mentioned previously, be sure to confirm that you install the correct size shims with a new differential as there have been some changes over the years. See the link for details. Here's a side shot of the GT LSD installed back into the transmission. The insert photo shows how the half shafts sit inside the differential, shown without the differential covered installed. 
When installing your half shafts, be sure to use a new circlip on the end as mentioned in the Porsche factory manual. The part number for all Boxsters 1997 through 08 is 012-409-413. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.